Hey, do you love sleep? Why else would I be watching this ASMR video? Duh. Just stick to the program. Oh, okay then. Yes. That's great because I've got something here which is going to send you into an even deeper, more relaxed, a comfier, peaceful, mind soothing, body rejuvenating, face warm and gentle room ascended. Oh, you're already using it. Well, introducing the Manta Sleep Moss. We all know the importance of sleep, the difference between a good and bad sleep. Now it's going to make you feel the next day, either waking up feeling great, ready to do everything you want, feeling energized, or getting yet another bad night's sleep, waking up to early morning sunrise, feeling like your body and brain are telling you to stay in bed, but you know you have to get up. The Manda Sleep Moss, which is 100% blackout for deeper sleep, perfect to take out those annoying street lights or something I've done, which is when I'm watching YouTube and want to listen to it, I've just put on the mask and I've just got the audio in my ear, then I'm out like a light. It's fully adjustable for personalized thread fit, ultra soft, breathable, made from durable materials, and most importantly of all, because you all know this if you've already used moss for sleep, it has zero eye pressure on your eyelids and eyelashes. These are attachable for it. But for me, it's not just about sleep. Use the false thread. And to make many awesome masks with different features like the Manta Cool Mask, which soothes the eyes and sinuses. So to check them out for yourself, head to mantasleep.com, the link in the description. And if you decide to order your very own mask, then use the code FRED to get 10% off your order. We hope you enjoy. Luther, Luther, Luther. It is good to see you. I hope that you are doing great today. And welcome back to the surgery. Now, I know that you haven't got an examination per se today, an appointment for a checkup. instead something a little bit different and last time you came for your eye examination you had a couple of headaches didn't you yeah a couple of headaches and uh, sorry i'm just gonna don't mind me typing here just updating as we go along just to save you as much time as possible okay that's good and we found out that you didn't have an issue with your eyesight, did you? No, that was an issue, though you were feeling a little bit of strain in your eyes. Now, you said to me on the phone that you tried the, the, the blue light glare glasses, okay? And you didn't have too much success. So, today you are picking up your prescription glasses and these just have the tiniest, tiniest amount um, which will help your eyesight just a little bit so it's not for short-sightedness, long-sightedness or anything like that not that you've got blurry vision or anything like that but because of your more than normal usage for screens that could be on your mobile device, on your computer device television, anything like that maybe you go to the cinema every day who knows I wish I did, that you look at the screen for long periods of time, they could make your eyesight just feel a little bit strained, and that's perception and depth of field that it could be causing that. So to have some glasses which are prescribed for, I'm sure will really help you uh, when you find yourself on the computer or anything like that for a longer period of time. So these glasses which came in today, as I said, for your collection today, I wanted you to come and collect them, but whilst you're here, you know, I wouldn't be a good doctor if I didn't want to take care of you, making sure that you have the very best and everything's going to be working for you 
and you're going to be happy. That is my main priority here as a doctor. So these glasses which I have here, I'm just going to perform a couple of tests. Now these aren't official examinations, but these tests are going to allow you to determine the best sort of glasses for you and make sure that it's going to give you that relief that you need. Just put it on for those elongated periods of time that you find yourself staring at the screen. Normal times, you will need to wear these glasses. A little bit more than normal, pop on these glasses and they will really help you and sort of alleviate the strain that you might be feeling and might be causing those headaches because your sleep at the moment is kind of under control, isn't it? That's really great to hear. I know we discussed all this on the phone. Okay, so I have your delivery here, but before we get those tried on, one and two, would you mind if I just take a quick check just to look into your eyes there, and make sure it's all responsive there, okay? I know on the system, you are examination, everything, all the cranial nerves, all the things we've done, it's been good. So I have no reason to believe that it has changed, but just being hopefully what you perceive as a caring doctor, that you'd be happy for me to do that for you. Good. Well, it would be no trouble for you, hopefully. And uh, of course, you know distress. You know the drill, so it's... Okay. That's great. Okay. Still the same address, everything. Good. Well, since the last month that you came in, I wouldn't expect too much to happen since then. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much for being patient there. I really appreciate that. So all I'm going to ask you to do is just uh, look in the point here of this pen. Keep looking just at the point of that pen. What I am doing here is checking how your pupils are reacting and how they are focusing to the pen tip here. So you just keep looking at that for me and I will keep looking at your pupils there. That's great. Keep following it as I move it. Keep following it as I move it down. That's really good. I will continue to look in your pupil. Okay, and I'll follow it around and continue to look in your pupil. That's great. And follow it around. So you see just a little bit of flashing now. I'm going to be a little bit closer. And I'm just going to see how your pupil will react to the sudden burst of light. And then no light. Okay. That's great. Keep looking at the pen. That's really good. Keep looking at the pen. That's really good. Keep looking at the pen. That's so great. Well done. You're doing really good. Really good. That's really good. And normally, if it was an eye examination, there'd be typing up, but this is just for me to remember to check. Okay, so it's the same thing again, if you wouldn't mind looking at the pin tip for me there. Thank you. Okay, just focus on the pen. Focus on the pen. That's really good. Focus on the pen. That's really great. Keep focusing on the pen. That's really good. Yeah, that's all fine. That's good there. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Is just move the pen in various positions. If you can just keep looking at it for me. Follow the light wherever it goes. So what 
do. I'll just be moving the pen and changing the depth of field that you would experience while focusing on the light and checking your eyes there. This is just before we get your glasses on. This is just a very quick check. A very quick check indeed, just to check. There we go. That's what checks all about is checking and making sure that you are hot and everything is looking good out of the bun and you are feeling good and I'm making sure that both of your pupils are working as best as they can be and this is going to really help you when you get your glasses on very shortly that's so great that's really good okay so just follow the tip there just follow the tip and keep following the tip there keep following the tip now look at the tip look at the tip look at the tip now keep following the tip keep following the tip keep following the tip keep following the tip so again he's coming back keep following the tip keep following the tip keep following the tip keep on the tip keep on look at the tip keep look at my finger look at my finger follow the tip follow the tip that's really good This isn't anything which I'm writing down here, which is going to change anything whatsoever. These are just personal notes for me to put on your record there as you're the patient who I'd like to really give care and attention because I know that you appreciate it and you are the ideal patient. You come in, you're good, you get your checkups, you know everything, what to do. And always happy and willing. So I try to do my best as a doctor to please you and make sure that I always keep track on all of your bits of health, which is very important to me. Your health is extremely important to me. So we're just going to follow that, but you will notice a few more flashy movements. Please just keep looking at the pen there. That's great. Really good. Keep looking at the pen there. That's really good. Keep looking at the pen. 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 It's about time to fit you with your glasses. So there were two designs here which we chose you. So we have the more classic design and these would be a lot more comfortable and feel really nice on your head. So before we try the other one there as well with something a little bit different but that's what your preference was. So by all means I managed to get something exactly what you said. So I'm going to take these glasses here. These are what you ordered as slight prescription glasses and will be very capable in aiding you with the strain that you might feel in your eyes. Now these are slightly prescription glasses but it's not because your eyes are like I said it's more just to help you and combat that glare and also the strain that you get from excessive amount of screen time. Okay, so this is only to be, like I said, used just on that point where you think you need to, you're spending a little bit more than normal time on there. So these are really nice glasses on you. There we go, there and the button on you there and they look amazing. That's really good. But before we pop them on, we are just going to check a couple of things. So I put the same lenses in these glasses. Now I know that these are the funny glasses. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple of lens changes on there, okay, and get you to look at various points in the room. So it could be, I don't 
pattern. You see the human body system, poster chart there. Or perhaps maybe look at that, or the healthcare sign on the wall there, or the guard here on the arms, or maybe that. Can you see that small? Yep, that's it, the eye chart there. Right, E, P, T, P, Q. Yep, that's it, you got it. Or another skeleton, human body system there, or my desk, or maybe outside at the cityscape, or anywhere we get you to look at it. And we're just gonna make sure that, well, you see as we go along, that I'll just be adding a lens, one side, and a lens on the other side, and then just tell me what you see. It's really as simple as that. So I'm just gonna pop those on there for you. Okay, that's really good. What I would like you to do is to look at, okay, you can look at the human body poster there. Now you probably, or may not, see a little difference there. Okay, in the left lens there for your left eye. So tell me what you're experiencing now. Is that clearer or is that even more blurry? That's really good. That, of course, is just a more blurry lens, which is just checking that we've got the correct lenses on you, because that's the next one up, and there's quite a difference in there, seems to be, for you, so your eyesight is already, in fact, really good and quite perceptive on that, so I'm just gonna take that out there. Okay. So it's the same process again, though I'm going to put it on your right lens on your eye there. So perhaps you would like to look at the eye chart there for me and read down on the third line. Bit hard to see. T, can you see T? No, O. Can you see an O? Z. A little bit blurry there for you. Okay, as expected, and of course, that's good because that was a content there for your glasses there as your previous examinations would have suggested something like that. So we've got two more there for you. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this one on the lens, slot that in there. That's good, tell me what you see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, perhaps can you see the gown there? Is it blurrier than normal? Okay, and now perhaps you'd like to look at the desk there. Right, yeah, so one side, mm -hmm. your right side is good, left side blurry. Not very perceptive, and that is what we want. Just take that out there. Well done. look at the, see the bed at the back there? Okay, perhaps you'd like to take a little look at that. Okay, is that blurry the, at all there for you, or is that, is that good? I know it's a little far away down there. were in fact 
Sighted and both of those were were not as good for you as well. So that's already a clear indicator to me that your vision is already really good. You've just got to watch out for that screen time. And it's I know it could be a little bit of a bad habit, and we're not in this day and age as aware, shall we say, in how much screen time we look at because these days everything is screens that you look at. So it can be aided with some simple tips. Uh, tips. If you correlate something with your screen time, I don't know if you drink tea or I don't know, drink anything else, and every time you have something new, then that could be the stop reminder of well, how much screen time I had during that period of time. And perhaps the next time you have a tea or something, you try and not have any screen time. Just simple things like that can really help. If you feel like you're having too much screen time, then of course, pop on your glasses and that will protect your eyes there. But also, you don't have to do that all the time. Look at something long distance, further away, and that will really help. And that stretches as well and really helps your eyes there too. So it's just these little tips, techniques, which I think might really help you and take away that eye strain for you so you can get back to doing the things you enjoy and watching the things that you enjoy or playing the things you enjoy if you play any star wars games and please do let me know i'm very interested to know that um, that's good classic games all means let me know okay so those are your glasses there and that of course is courtesy of the surgery, you will not need to pay them at all because you are a star patient. So, just a little gift from us here for this seasonal period. Okay, it's honestly, please, it's perfectly fine. It's the very least we can do for you being so helpful and kind, and we really like you here. Okay, even that another doctor. Henry Charles Reginald III, you got it. Well done. See, his name kind of sticks, doesn't it? You don't forget the character, you don't forget the name. And he certainly is a character. Okay, so that is all on your system. Let me just pack away your glasses here. So, have it in a nice case here. And just a little leaflet we've included there as well of things that you might find useful in there and anything else, the, how to care for your glasses, but literally that's pretty much all you need there. So what I'll do is just fold these up there for you. We'll get it in here so it's all nice and looked after and taken care of. And pop it in here. That's really great. Now it's ready for you to take home. So I hope you like your glasses there and they give you the relief you need for that eye strain and they really help you. So thank you so much for coming in to see me about these and once again really great to see you. These I'm sure are going to help you a lot. So don't forget, remember just a little bit of excessive and normal time popping these glasses and remember that our visit here was exceptionally uh, productive for you and hopefully they will really help you and every time you see this I hope you remember the surgery here and our little gift to you and uh, know that we care about you okay so is there anything else I can help you with well means please take your glasses that's great nothing okay well take your care of yourself I'll see you again soon